Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiandra, and yes, we are here to talk about Love and Hip Hop Season 2, Episode 13. It's the Reunion Part 1. So if you are interested in seeing what I have to say, honey, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna be quick. This crap was not all of that. We all know how these reunions start off real nice and easy. So really, I'm not here for Part 1. I'm here for Part 2. But guess what? We're going to come in here. We're going to talk about some of the parts of the show that I really thought was interesting. Before we get started, yes, this is a wig. Boom. <laughs> I am deep conditioning underneath my hair, so don't judge me. Yes, your girl got a wig. It is, um, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I like it a little bit. It's a little thick. Um, but that's what we rocking today. So don't judge me. Okay. Don't judge me. Anywho, let's go ahead on and get started. So the show starts off. It is the same host from last year, which I really like that chick. She was also in being Mary Jane. I saw her last, um, episode was it last episode. She was actually at the beginning of the show. I like her a lot. Um, but it starts off with, it starts off with Ray J. It starts off with Princess Love and Tiara Marie. So Tiara, she looked okay. Um, Princess Love, she looked pretty. She was, she looked very nice. Um, I always like her makeup. Her makeup is always fabulous. But, um, basically they just kind of started off with the whole, um, are y'all engaged? She said yes. Um, the whole situation about what happened in New Orleans and then, um, her getting arrested and she basically gave them an update and saying that the charges were dropped and everything's all good. He's over there rubbing her hand, kissing her hand. Like, I messed up. I messed up. I'm like, boy, go sit down. And even Princess Love was like, boy, stop. Like, <laughs> stop stop you too much stop tiara marie and ray j like i said they're in love with one another i don't care what nobody says and basically he was trying to throw her on the bus and basically saying listen you were trying to set princess up because you wanted to get back with me you told me verbatim i'm gonna get her i'm gonna get her caught up i'm gonna let you know and give you this information and then i can get back in a bed with you and she like boy please i would never say that i'm just like child whatever it's a long story short, Tiara Marie is still alone. Princess Love and Ray J is together. So after they kind of just updated everybody with what was going on with um, Princess Love and Ray J, they kind since Monice was on the stage because she was Tiara Marie's friend, Princess Love said, "You know what? She don't even have a roof over her head. So I ain't trying. I ain't even trying to hear what she had to say. She ain't even got a roof over her head." And I swear to you, you know, I think Monice is absolutely batshit crazy. So she's like, I don't know what she said. I don't know if she said walnuts or pineapples, but she said her safe word. Um, and apparently she told the host in advance, like, hey, if I say this safe word, I'm highly pissed and I need to get off the stage because she knew. Because once she started saying the word, the host was like, oh, no, no, that's her safe word. That's her safe word. So I was like, what the hell about the, something about to pop off? Like, what's going on? So she literally gets up and she walks away. Ray J jumps up like, I ain't know what was about to happen what was about to go down and um, everybody's like sit sit down <laughs> sit your twirly head ass down go sit down so then um after she says she has no roof over her head immediately rich dollars who's sitting in the audience in the front row he immediately comes to her defense you know that's my girl you know she has a roof over her head and if she didn't i would make sure she did but she has one because she is with me blah 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 blah, blah. so he comes to her defense i'm like oh shoot they must be back together you know because he was like real quick with it then fizz pops in and Fizz is saying the same thing, like, you know, no, seriously, no BS, she does, she has her own house, even Nikki Baby, like, she has her own spot, she has her own crib, she's good, she has her own house. So then Princess didn't say nothing after that, you know, but I was kind of like, all right, Rich, all right, you're taking care of your boo, yes! <laughs> so anyway, so that was that. So then they go into Rich... Nikki Baby, Fizz, and um, the mom and Monice. They basically want to talk about the whole, what Monice said about Fizz and how Rich found out and the whole thing like that. She was basically saying, Monice was basically saying that, you know, she just had love for him. She always have love for him. She's not in love with him, but it was just the emotion of her. She's going to always love him. And it was just like some type of a closure. Girl, bye. That was not what happened. You did not come at it like 
you just needed closure and this was just something that you was just expressing you wanted to be with him and if he would have said jump yes i want to be with you yes i want to make this work you'll be like deuces to rich so don't even play he's seen the tape and just like he said i seen all i i, I know was what it's all about i seen it you know but don't act like you didn't mean that. Like you was just saying like passive, like a breeze in the wind. Like it was nothing because it was something and you meant what you said because you also said the same thing to Tierra Marie. So let's not play dumb here. You know, you made a mistake, you fucked up and just own that. Own it, own it, own it, own it, own it, own it. And just like you said, you got caught up in emotions of y'all actually finally being, you know, co-parents to your son and it, it brought, it kicked back feelings. And you, it was just a moment, but you out of that moment. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of keep it like that, but don't say some random stuff like, girl, bye. Some kind of way Nikki Baby was trying to put on blast that Rich was trying to find out to get out of the relationship with Monice. So she kind of said, like, don't come on, Fizz. Like, don't lie. You know, that's your baby mom. You need to protect her. Like, that's what he said. He said, he, and so Fizz had to clarify, like, okay, listen, he did call. We did have a conversation. He asked me, you know, after this whole thing happened with her. And I told him, listen, that's all you. I, I'm not trying to be with her on that level. We already had that. That ship has sailed. And he was like, oh, okay, because I was trying to see if that was going to be my outing. Rich was like, I don't need to have no outing for any MF -er that I don't want to be with. Because if I I don't want to be with them. I don't want to be with them. He was acting like Mr. Big Bad. I'm trying to tell you. He had his little loafers on, his little watch. He was acting like super Chris, you know, Big Bad, okay? But real cool, real laid back. Um, but he was, like, real hot about that. So then all of a sudden, Ray J is in the audience now. And Ray J is kind of telling um, Nikki Big, like, why are you a snitch? Like, <laughs> why are you snitching on my man? Like, why are you all up in the Kool-Aid? Like, go sit down. Why is you a snitch? Why are you telling all his business? Why are you trying to get that man caught up? Long story short, you know Nikki Baby is a snitch. That's like, she cannot hold water. And I'm not feeling her. I'm not feeling her. Now, granted, this whole thing with Moniz was going to come out regardless. He was going to see it. But you didn't have to put your little two cents in and, and get the pot brewing early. <laughs> so then that was that. So then they asked about her and his relationship. And she kind of was like, I thought we was, I thought we were working on something. I knew our relationship was on the rocks. But, but I'm just finding out recently that we not together and you, you, you moving on. And so he was like, going around the bend, all of a sudden he was like, you, you want me to ask the question, do I love her? Of course, I said that I'm in love with her. You want me to answer the question, are we in a relationship? No, we are not. And then that was that. It was like, boom, like very quick, dry. And I feel like he's really hurt by it. And I also feel that he realized, probably from watching the show and just talking to people in general and really getting time to marinate the whole situation, he was running through the ringer. Like, he... He was jumping through some fire hoops, okay? And with all the stuff that's going on with her, all of her feelings and emotions for her baby daddy, the mom situation, the child situation, just her and her mind, I think he realizes that it's just way too much for him and he just needs to back away from that situation. I really believe that. So I think, like he said, he's in love with her and I believe it. I believe it. I actually do. But I think that he came to the realization that that chick is crazy. <laughs> he needs to get far, far away from her as possible before he becomes her next victim, you know? Um, so then let's see. What else happened? So Milan, Miles, and Amber. Milan looks pissed, <laughs> okay? And we're going to see in part two what's going on. Because he, like, he walks off the stage and he drops the, the ring or whatever. I don't know what's going on with that. Miles um, is crying as always. And, you know, I understand it was a very emotional thing for him. And he's just still, like, watching the clips. is kicking back old memories and your feelings. And I get it, but I'm tired of him crying. Um, moving on. <laughs> and Amber with the hair. Um, she was there with her sister, and she's saying the same old thing. It's like, we, we're done. Y'all have stretched this storyline out so far. It's like, we're good. Thank you very much. And gracefully bow out. But her sister's hair was laid. Her sister's hair was so bad. I think she had, like, the prettiest makeup and hair out of the whole cast of the whole, on that episode. Like, she looked really, really, really good. Um, so let's get off of them. Who else? Lil B and her husband with Tink, you know, when, when, I'm over them. She's crazy as hell. But her dress and the wig was just way too much. It was too much like Ice Queen, Ice Princess, and um, I like both pieces, but I didn't like them together. And the, her dress, they've been doing that for like the past, you know, 
for love and hip hop reunions like that whole um nude with the rhinestones around the, and the crystals around the boob and the area is I, I like the style but we're, we're, we need to bury it Kamaya came back she was you know I liked her remember I told you that in episode two I think she's really pretty and she looked really nice um on the reunion show as well so Kamaya and Lil Fizz situation is pretty much good they both apologized to one another I really think that the whole appetite they were really trying to bring up this whole appetizer thing and yes we are not food we're not an appetizer and he was just using that as a as he said metaphor to explain to her what he was actually trying to say um and then the whole her moving in while he was gone he basically let us know that she's been having issues at her own house and since he was going to be gone for a couple of days that she could stay at his house just so that she can get away from the drama and she kind of agreed to that you didn't see her say no 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 but you did kind of hear you did kind of hear her say that that wasn't all of it you know and like she said you know i could have you know miscommunicated what you were saying to me um and and took it as, as that but i do believe fizz like i said wears his heart on his sleeve and in that moment he probably wanted to be single and um testing out appetizers but when you when he had that girl there when he was introduced her to his son and she was in the house and she probably was cooking and sexing them all night and day he really started to feel a connection with her and he was probably feeling some type of way but since he left he probably found somebody else out there and now he got back to his testing out appetizer and he wanted her to be gone so i don't know also you see that fizz and um nikki baby are still dating they are still together it's just that that relationship is real weird to me i, well, I don't know about you is that relationship weird to you i don't know but um he basically they're they're good him and kamaya are good then at the very end it kind of goes back to um monice and her mom and they were trying to get into the story about her son and who takes care of the son and the custody situation but it was hard because you had brandy um chiming in you had willie's wife chiming in um you had all these women chiming in and that was her storyline that was her story to tell and they were just like you know having their little side comments and smirks and remarks and amber all of them was just ratchet and it ended with them basically about to get in a fight she's like why are you talking and why are you talking she's like because i'm a mother brandy because i'm a mother i'm a mother and i can talk blah, blah, blah. it was just ratchet and ghetto and you could just tell that um brandy is trying to put herself out there you know she hasn't she's been trying to get in the limelight and out there and be exposed she's always been like on the side or in the background but you could tell with her being so ratchet you know that's her you could tell it's her but she just jumping in all the time with everything trying to get all the camera time it, that's that's all she's just trying to do she's trying to get herself out there that's it um that was it guys real short real sweet real simple um i did like some of the fashions richie d was acting like big willie talking about he gave him three thousand dollars um a week to his baby mama for child support that's like a hundred and some odd grand a year we don't care who cares like who cares how much you give long as you're doing what you need to do with your child like who cares and that was pretty much about it like i said it was real simple was real mellow a lot of apologies and i'm sorry about this i'm sorry about that i can't wait to part two because that's when hazel e comes in that's when we get to find out what's going on with milan crazy ass so on and so forth all right so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video i really appreciate it and that lets me know that you're enjoying these videos Videos. don't forget to share the video um comment and subscribe if you have not my phone is blowing up oh my gosh anyway i'm gonna take this wig off go finish washing my hair and go to bed so until next time i will see y'all later in peace bye <laughs> figure out what's going on with her and fizz no it's not right why is it right for nikki baby ass to go and tell this man this that's not right that's not cool and i don't like that don't be a snitch Oh, long story short.